Today is Monday, July 15, 2024. It's been a nice relaxing weekend of taking naps, walking the dog, spending time with the family, and answering correspondence regarding Trom, which has increased since we've put up the new website. I want to thank everyone who's written in, whether it's to congratulate, share a success story, or ask a question. Keep in mind what I've just said. We are always happy to hear from our viewers. Having so rested, I'm back in form to tackle another hot topic, something you may have wondered about, something I've contemplated myself, and I'm sure a few staff members and executives at the church have wondered about as well. The question is, will Trom put an end to Scientology? Give that some thought. Dennis Stevens found, well into researching his upper-level Trom technology that even before finishing the program on himself, none of the Scientology processes worked on him anymore. People who have been denied auditing by the church, including myself, have found comfort in knowing they could get the case gain they were looking for in Scientology auditing doing TROM exercises instead. But I think the best indicator I have that TROM can give you what Scientology couldn't, namely a spiritual practice that would lead you to greater levels of spiritual freedom and awareness without need of a practitioner and without having to answer to or pay anything to an organization is that I know not of a single ex-Scientologist who's tried Trom then decided to go back to the church. Not one. And I know I'm just begging for some wise guy to write me and tell me he did just that, whether he did or not, but it's been almost six years now of practicing Trom, talking about Trom, researching it online and corresponding with others who've tried it, and it hasn't happened. So I can pretty well say with confidence, those who try Trom, and by that I mean they do the exercises per the instructions, not just someone who's read a few pages of the manual, are not very likely to go back to the church. And it's not just because of the money, the restrictive policies, the corrupt organization and how hard it is to call oneself a Scientologist, and all those other exterior considerations. I'm talking about just how well Trom works. Because that alone sold me. And I'm not the only one. So let's just say for the sake of argument that TROM is at least as good as Scientology auditing. We could even just say it's comparable. I wouldn't be upset if someone put it that way, I have myself. Let's also say for the sake of argument that the entire world knew about TROM and how effective it is. Let's imagine I had millions of subscribers and millions of people were practicing TROM. Would that put an end to Scientology? Would it? I'd have to say no, it wouldn't. First of all, I don't even want the church to go out of business. I want them to reform. Every critical thing I've ever said about them is with the aim of getting these guys to wake up and see the effects of what they are doing, and point them to a better way of going about things. I don't want anyone who is happy with the church to leave it. And there are others who are members of the church who, even though they've had their upsets, would still like to see the church reform, and of those, some are desperately trying to get them to do just that. I'll say this to those people, I wish you the best in your attempts. It is going to take more than just writing some reports though. You're going to have to root out the corruption that's right at the top, and you're going to have to get pretty damned creative and boldly execute your plan in order to succeed. I still think it can be done. It's not terribly likely I'll see it in my lifetime but it can be done. It'll happen eventually, just out of necessity if not anything else. And when it does, I hope it won't be too late for them. Trom's not going to put an end to Scientology. Martin Luther didn't put an end to the Catholic Church. Scientology didn't end psychiatry, and I doubt they ever will. People still send letters in the mail even though we now have the internet. Big or small, weak or strong, Scientology will always be on this planet in some form or another. Even if the church collapses, the subject itself will carry on. After all, it's the subject itself that has value, not the organization. 
If the church ever collapses, it won't be because of the media, the government, or the psychiatric industry. It will only be of their own doing. It will only be as a result of upsetting too many parishioners that so many leave, and the activity is just no longer viable. It will only be as a result of self-defeating policies and practices. It will only be as a result of their failure to apply their own technology correctly. Hubbard said it himself in a policy letter entitled Keeping Scientology Working. The church has very little to worry about as far as me and thee. They've created a far larger mess for themselves than we ever could, even if we tried. And it's not my intent to try, and I don't advise you try either. We have much better things to do with our time, like engaging with our own spiritual practice. For all of you diligent traumers listening, I wish you the best of fortune as you travel towards finishing level 5. For Scientologists who are brave enough to listen to anything I broadcast on this channel, I wish you a happy journey up the bridge, and my sincerest hopes that things work out with your organization. For you newcomers who've listened this long, thanks for hearing me out, and if you are curious about what we do and why, please subscribe to our channel, visit us at bettertrom.com, or start your education in Trom by viewing our playlist entitled, Start Here. I'm Alison Tandry. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind. Resolve it.